Hey, what's up guys? Mashain here, coming back with a brand new video for you guys. Now, the way this video is going to work is I'm going to give you past examples from the previous summer sale, and we're also going to be breaking down what specifically I think you should do with each of these items. Now, the first one is the active duty cases. Now, this is the most volatile area inside of CSGO investing as a whole, and when we look at the summer sale, it's no different. If we want to look at the clutch case, which was the most expensive active duty case, other than that newly released Dreams and Nightmares case, we can see that it dropped 20%, which is quite significant, and we'll talk a little bit more after a quick word from today's sponsor. The sponsor for today's video is skin swap now skin swap is the premier place for csgo skins and rust skins they've got a trading feature with highly competitive rates they've got a super easy to use selling feature and if you're looking to deposit today you're going to be getting a 40 percent bonus on your deposit and the best thing if you sign up with the link in the description you're going to be getting a free case worth up to 150 dollars so what are you waiting for join today and fill all of your csgo skin needs however this is really where our information ends and that's because if we want to look at the other active duty cases we run into a problem looking at the prisma 2 it was sitting at five cents if we want to look at some of the other active duty cases they were extremely cheap and we have to exclude that dreams and nightmares just because it was so new that leaves us with a pretty major problem of the fact that the active duty cases are nowhere comparable to what we saw in the previous summer sale this leaves them with the biggest area of questionability because we don't know if these active duty cases are going to drop 20 percent like we saw with the clutch case or if they're going to remain relatively similar to the rest of the rare cases which we'll talk about in just a quick minute. With this area, I would obviously use a significant amount of discretion. I think active duty cases overall are an area you should stay clear of unless you know what you're doing, and this is a very significant case of that. Now, talking about rare cases, I've got a ton of examples shown in the background here. Basically, all rare cases, generally speaking, followed a very similar pattern. They dropped down when we saw the summer sale come out, but not significant enough for you to be able to make a profit flipping, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. But for investing in, this could be a very strong opportunity. A lot of these cases dropped a bit more than I honestly thought they would, and you can see by nearly all of the graphs, there was almost an instant rebound once the sale started to reach its end period, as a little bit more people were starting to be interested in picking these cases back up. However, once again, similar to the issue we just talked about, a lot of these cases were significantly cheaper. If we want to look at something that's a little bit on the more expensive side then, that's the glove case. But the glove case was sitting at a very easy price point of about $2.70, dropping down to almost $2.50. Look at the price point now. That's the price point we're sitting at for all of the Chroma cases, pretty much all the Spectrum cases, all of those rarer cases like the Gammas too. For that, I say you should definitely look at these past trends and understand them, but I wouldn't say they're going to replicate every single one to a T, just because when we see a little bit higher prices, we're going to see a little bit more reduced liquidity, especially in these items. And that reduced liquidity could could lead to having a little bit smaller of a dip or it could lead to a faster rebound even though we already see extremely fast rebounds in this area. After that we've got the skins market. Now the skins market is often thought to be the area that is the hardest hit by this. It's the area where you're going to see people selling off a significant amount because if people have to sell off items they generally speaking don't have investments if they're selling off skins to buy games. Because of this skins are often the area where we see a lot of movement specifically in that like 10 to 30 dollar range I would say for the most part. You can see a little bit in some of the cheaper ones, but above $30 to $50, you're not going to be seeing too much movement because once again, that's not really the people who are selling off skins to play games. Looking at last year, if we want to look at the red line, you can see here that it dropped about 10% at its biggest downfall from about $15 to $13.50. And this is roughly what we're going to see all across the board. However, there's an issue when we're looking at skins in the past year, and that's because there was a major update that came out on June 16, 2022 that relates to the M4 a4s and the M4A1Ss. Basically, the M4A4 got quote-unquote a buff because the M4A1S went down to 20 bullets per magazine. Now, this is very important because if you look at any of these graphs, you're going to be seeing a massive increase for M4A4s, a massive decrease for the M4A1S, which some people could incorrectly contribute to the Steam Summer Sale. It's very important you know this, otherwise it's going to look like there was a massive drop on some specific skins from the Steam Summer Sale as they were about a week apart. However, it is quite consistent all across the board. Even this M4A1S decimator dropped about 10% at its biggest downfall, which is after that major drop we saw previously that we just mentioned. However, I do want to mention this was the market last year. The market is now in a very interesting predicament where we've got a lot of potential updates on the horizon, and I do want to say it's something that you should take into consideration, but don't think that it's going to be a guarantee repeat once again. However, there is also one area that has dropped significantly more than what we've mentioned previously, and that's actually the capsule market. Now, I don't specifically think the capsule market is going to tank once again, 
again just because the prices are down so consistently all across the board because Paris has released. However, I do want to throw it in here that last year we did see a decrease of about 20% for some specific capsules in just the span of a couple days of the sale actually starting. Now, this was also just for Stockholm as Antwerp was so new we didn't have any good data. And to be very clear, I don't think there's going to be a massive change in this area just because the market interest at the current point is not on the capsules, whereas it was last year, and that's a major indicator of what is dropping during that time. However, there's a lot of good things that come along with the Steam Summer Sale, the first of which is you're going to be getting about a $5 free value on your Steam level if you have some points to spare. You're going to be doing this by heading over to Steam Points Shop, and you're going to be scrolling down to the Seasonal Badge. Now, there's going to be a new Seasonal Badge that comes out with the Steam Summer Sale. However, since we're uploading this in advance, this could be the last time to snag the current Seasonal Badge if you don't have it already. It's going to cost you 40,000 Steam Points, which is definitely a decent amount of Steam Points, and in turn, you're going to be getting 40 free basically badge level ups. It's going to give you 4,000 XP, which is equivalent to doing about 40 of these badge craftings. Not anything crazy, but still about a $5 free value if you're buying your cards at five cents a piece, which is fairly nice considering you're not going to be able to level up for free during any time. Except if you are looking to craft some badges, I highly suggest you wait until the Steam Summer Sale is live. That's because you're going to be getting increased rewards when crafting badges during the Steam Summer Sale. This is because of a couple different things, the first of which is you are going to be receiving a Steam Summer Sale card, provided we see the same format return as last year. This can either be sold for some extra money on the Steam market, which you would probably most likely do in my opinion, otherwise you can go ahead and use this to craft more badges. Basically every time you craft a 25 cent badge, you're probably going to receive 4 to 5 cents back depending on how early you are into the Steam Summer Sale, which is a nice bonus considering usually you get nothing. Now what specifically should you be doing during this time? time. The first thing I would highly go against is selling off your play skins in order to try and gain a little bit of a profit by buying them back later. It doesn't really make sense when we look at a lot of the graphs. Play skins dropped about 10%, which is not enough to avoid the Steam fee. Even if we look at the things that dropped the most, they dropped about 20%, and odds are your specific highly liquid skin may not be dropping as much as that. I just don't think it's going to be worth it for so many different people, especially considering those are past year statistics where we saw obviously how everything worked out. Out. This year is not guaranteed to be the same by any means, and it's very likely that we could not see as big of a decrease as we saw for so many different items just because of the way the market is right now. Otherwise, if you're looking to specifically flip skins, I've got a couple decent guides on that, and this could be a decent opportunity for you to buy up some cheaper skins to hold on to for potentially a couple months for them to rebound in price. Obviously, nothing's guaranteed, and I highly suggest you learn a little bit more than just the 20 second infomercial I'm giving you right now, but I do think this is a very viable strategy, although it's not not something that's going to happen overnight. You're going to be waiting a couple months potentially for this profit, and it's once again not something that's guaranteed by any means. But that's all I got. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.